Prima, try my mic. Drum solo. Dum, 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 I still say that's pretty dangerous. What's that? Honestly, uh, just having a suit that could put you into a a coma like that. Yeah, really. Pumping you full of gas and just knocking you out. Do the copite suits not do that? Doesn't look like it. I mean, they seem to know the technology, but they don't know about. They, they don't have to say anything. About, like our suit doesn't do that. Yeah, Captain Charlie said, "I recognize that suit. I know what it does," which implies that the suit that he's wearing doesn't do that. Well, he knows of it, but he just doesn't use it. So there you go, that's, uh... That's the story with Louie, or Captain Malamar, rather. Yeah, day 13, or night 13, first time we had a night scene. Hmm. And instead of the usual zoom-in on the Drake out in outer space, we get this. Oh. What the- Whoa! He just died! <laughs> <laughs> very first thing Louis does is he one he somehow hijacks the Drake and gets it to land. I would imagine that Copite technology and Hockate technology is sh well, similar enough apparently mm -hmm. that he would be able, that he would be able to operate the Drake. Second, he went and killed himself. Yeah, he, and he, he stole, had a run with Bob. <laughs> yeah, he and he stole Captain Charlie's rubber ducky. And finally, he stole all our food. Oh, that motherfucker. Yeah, Brittany's ready to fucking kill someone. She's like, not my juice. A piece of shit. I mean, to be fair, if you had all that juice and someone stole it, wouldn't you be pissed? Oh, yeah. I mean, especially if it was like to, for us to survive, because we're trying to save our freaking planet here. Yeah, yeah, really, though. No. Oh, no, he didn't steal the seeds. He only stole the juice. Well, I mean, think about it this way. If we don't dr eat any juice tonight or drink any juice tonight, don't we die? Yes. So this is the lightning round. Uh, if we don't find any... If we don't find at least one day's worth of juice before the end of today, that it's game over. Uh-oh. If Wait, you recognize this area, we? this is the area where we first found Brittany. Oh. So we're way... This, like this area right here, this is where we found the Rock Pikmin. Wow. So... so we're way back, blast from the past. Well, it's a good thing, too, because, I mean, I figured you wouldn't be landing in the same map as before, right? Right, pretty much, yeah. yeah. Alright, lightning round time. Where did that mother effer go? Well, we actually know exactly where he went from the cutscene, from the opening cutscene. Good thing, right too, now, right? Yeah, so he went right there. There's a rocky wall right there. Mm. Uh, there is no dynamite in this area, so he blew that up for us. I wonder how so, he did that. Yeah, really. Good question. So right now, I'm just looking through the map, seeing what it was that I could do, and there's a whole lot of electric gates all over the place here, so I'm gonna pull out a crap load of yellow Pikmin, some reds, and uh, we're, we're gonna rock it. Well, you don't have any rock Pikmin. Very funny. I know, right? H hilarious joke, yeah. Alright, Brittany. I like I have a precise third to go that way. That is the plan. And I've already lost one. Yeah, I just heard a noshing noise. That little bastard. That little bastard just cost you a dollar. Get him. Oh, oh well. All right, where you're going to ignore the obvious plot progression? For, for now, yeah. I mean, there's... Well, right now, I'm less concerned with Louie and whatever the hell he's gotten himself up to. And I'm more concerned with surviving. Because if I don't find any fruit... Like, like it's fairly early in the day, so I'm not, I shouldn't be too, too worried right now. But if I don't find any fruit before the day is over, I lose. Right. I just figured that if you got Louie, like, you'd get all your juice back. Oh, yeah. But do you really think it's going to be that easy? I would hope so. But this is Nintendo after all. Nintendo hard is a is a thing. Well, it's not necessarily Nintendo hard. It's more this is Pikmin 3. Every area has so far ended with a boss. Mm. And I have no reason to believe that Louis is not going to be the same case. <laughs> He's a boss himself? Oh, he might be. He was the final boss in Pikmin 2. I have no idea why you met, why you said that. You mean the, the fact that he ate all the food? No. The final boss is some kind of mechanical spider, right? 
I did not know that. I actually haven't yeah. seen what Pikmin 2 is like. And Louie, well, the story was supposed to be that the mechanical spider, spider had kidnapped Louie. But once you beat it, it's very, really heavily implied that Louie was in control the whole time. Why would he? Is he like a saboteur or something? He, I, I don't know. He's either like a dangerous idiot or he's actively malicious, one of the two. He's probably like a spy or something, and he just pretends to be stupid. Whoa, All right, not this, not that this is way. new. That is a new monster. <laughs> wow, the music's just kicking in. Yeah, it's a mini boss fight. I like this so, soundtrack. So we're gonna go this way instead. Fight some, oh. uh, fight some frogs. Nah, actually, changed my mind. You're right, let's go progress the plot a little bit. I want to say now, and this is the new canon, Louis is actually a spy from for some sort of evil corporation in in, uh, Co not, in Hokotate, not Kopai. In Pikmin 2, he is obviously employed by the rivals of the president to be a sleeper agent and ruin their, ruin their progression, ruin their, uh, ruin their job. And in Pikmin 3, Obviously, he's just an evil dick. And he's like, it's, I can't let my identity be discovered. It's also totally possible that Louis... Uh, he's just... He's he's just like, too he, stupid to live. Well, there is is that, yes. But also, you remember those Snickers commercials? Where like someone is really mad about something and then someone else says... Uh, hungry, Snickers, grab a Snickers? Not, yeah. yeah, you're hungry... Grab a Snickers, you're not yourself when you're hungry. Right. And then they do, and then he transforms into something else. Maybe that's Louie, but like in reverse. So as soon as he finds food, he just turns into something else. He just turns into this evil, evil asshole. Because that's how it went in Pikmin 2. He ate the golden carrot because his hunger could not be contained. And we li like in the Drake, we literally had something like a month's worth of, worth of food in there. So as soon as he saw that, he just turned into something else. He's like, mine. Mine now. Also, I, I could swear... Oh, Louis has become even more problematic. All he does is nod or shake his head. He consumes three times the amount of food that I do. Wow. Okay, yeah. He really is getting a little bit of a, of a phase, isn't he? What an asshole. Also, is that the blue onion? We're about to find out, I suppose. Okay, you're, you're really playing with fire. <laughs> there we go. There's the blueies. I like how I had to use the pink Pikmin to get that one. Just to make sure... That's actually fairly decent anti-cheating uh, design. Because even if I could get past the wall, the blue Pikmin was hidden behind me having winged Pikmin. Right. It's progression. Dang, you're really... Those little, those little yellow Pikmin snipe the motherfuckers. Yeah, uh, the little guys, they only take one hit. Assuming oh, you land on them. That's, that's an interesting new mechanic about hiding. I didn't know that that's a new thing. That's for sure. In Pikmin 1, the moment you're spotted, you're just spotted until you get out of their line of sight. Alright, so. We have been waiting this whole LP to finally get some blue Pikmin. Yes, there he is. Blue Pikmin are probably the cutest ones. I disagree. Their gill makes them look ugly as hell. No, I think it's like a little mouth. Yeah, I know. And it makes them look ugly. He reminds me a bit of like that one new starter Pokemon for Pokemon Shield and Sword. Yeah. What's his name again? The Frog? Ludicolo or not Ludicolo? Um... No, Ludicolo is a Gen 3 Pokemon. Yeah. Um... It's like Sobbit or something. Something like that. Yeah. Are you gonna get one of the Pokemon? Ah, uh, I have no idea. I know you said that we should get it so that we could play together, but it's been like I never played X and Y. I don't feel like I missed out on it. I played through. Oh, not not that way, huh? <laughs> um, I played through Black and White with you, but yeah, and it was a good time, right? It was, but then I was like, eh. I, I think I had the, the, the our golden time was with Pearl and Diamond.
Are you just letting uh, some some blues to get out of there? Yeah, I, I'm trying to balance out my Pikmin with what's her nuts, Brittany, so that I have some spare room left over to get some blues going. That's good. That's a smart tactician move. Oh, there's, there's some fruit. Old, yeah, yeah, there's, there's a, a big old orange. Of that some doesn't sort. look like an orange. Oh, so that's how those things attack. They flip them forward and they breathe fire when the Pikmin are stunned. That's interesting design. Yeah, but it's slow and boring for me. Almost got him. There we go. Now dig that fruit up, Captain. Yellows are the best diggers. All right, one blue guy. Let's go. Okay, five blue guys. Let's go. So that oh, that's a mango steam. What did you just call me? No, that's a mango steam. Oh, right on the eye. Ow. God, can you imagine getting a Pikmin in the eye? That is his weak point. I know, but can you imagine just getting in the Pikmin in your eye? Uh, yeah, probably could. Oh, okay, that's that's another dead, two dead, three dead, four dead, four dead. five. Yeah, it's still going. I could have handled this one a little better, I'm not going to lie. Uh, at least you're distracting him with yourself. Oh, okay, that's another one. Jesus! That one Bulborb is owning you! Well, I only went in with like 15, something like that. Alright, bring in the rest of them. There okay, not, not necessary. <laughs> those, those brave red Pikmin sacrificed themselves for you. Never forget their sacrifice. What that are we talking about? Those red Pikmin. It's a joke. You told me not to forget and I forgot. That's oh. a joke. Well, let's not forget. What are their names? They are Peter... Uh... Brutus. Peter, Paul... We need the peas. We need peas. Okay, peas. Uh, Peter, Paul... Patrick. Patrick. Uh, Patricia. Patricia. Paul and Pauline. <laughs> Paula and Pauline. I think that's all six. Never forget. Press F to pay respects. <laughs> what do we find here? An underwater structure. How the hell did Alimar and Louie make any progress if there are only two of them? But this planet needs three all the time. Uh, Smash Bros. told us. Uh... Olimar, he only needs a small troop of winged Pikmin. And he can fly just about anywhere he wants. Sounds sounds about right. I mean, if anyone's badass, it's it's, uh, it's Captain Olimar. Who's more badass, Captain Olimar or Captain Charlie? Olimar. Charlie oh. doesn't. For me, he hasn't gotten to. He we know about him as exploits because we're told, but we actually saw what Olimar has done. You know, that's fair. I'll accept that. For all we know, oh, that's a buried, buried pellet, right? Yeah, You're don't worry about it. it. Yeah. Actually, worry about it. <laughs> I mean, all we know of Charlie is that, you know, he may be a coward, but we don't know. And he just coasts you... on he just coasts on his uh, his glory, because, you know, have you heard of uh, Syaphis Kane? I have not. That name is not familiar to me. Okay, um... Apparently, I haven't read any of his novels, but like he's a Warhammer 40,000 character. The okay. gimmick is that he's a commissar in the Imperium, the Human Imperium, but and he's got he's got like, some serious chops. Like he's like a, a legendary fighter or whatever. But the truth of the matter is, he's actually a huge coward, and he always tries to run away. But the fact is that by running away, he actually somehow survives, and he actually manages to beat the bad guys that way. So it's uh. It's like Empire, uh, Sir... not Gilman. No, Sir Gilman. You're thinking about the, no. uh... No. no, the the coward. Sir Gilman is a playable character. He's the good one. Right. Sir... Oh, oh, yes, yes, the other Pyre Heart guy, the Pyre Heart guy. Uh, yeah. Yeah. 
But the thing is about that guy, like, everyone knows he's a coward. But absolutely no one thinks that Kane is a coward. Okay, yeah, like, fair enough. He's a... You know, he was always like a smug dude, he's like, yeah, I'll do this. And then the moment that an enemy shows up, he runs in the opposite direction. And everyone keeps thinking, oh, he's got a master plan. And because it all works out right in the end, they're like, yeah. <laughs> you're, you didn't run away, you were treated to the rear. And it worked. <laughs> well, if this happens all the time, then is he a coward or is he the genius? No, he's actually, he's, he's, a, he's a self-described coward for himself. But okay. he's a genius in that he's very lucky. <laughs> And things always work out for him. <laughs> I've been one Sir of those. Deluge. Yeah, Sir Deluge. Sir... Yes, you just yes. remembered his name. Yeah, that's. Yeah, I've name. like I've been sitting here thinking about it because it was embarrassing that I couldn't remember his name after I did a 100% LP of the game. Well, it has been a while since you did play it. Not a hundred percent, but it was a it was a completion, not a completionist, but a complete let's play. Oh, that red Pikmin. Oh, okay. He was on his underbelly. I thought he was. He was fodder for sure. Yeah, uh, that's the scary thing about fighting these guys with no rock Pikmin. Ooh! I got one of them. I thought he got like three. Nah, just the one. Well, at least you got that mango scene. So you're not dead for for now. Yeah, uh, I get to survive until tomorrow. What next? Yeah, we've, we've already seen this one. Ah, so red Pikmin are good fighters. All right. I guess they're the strongest of the lot. I guess so. Like, blues can survive underwater, yellows are good for arc throw, electric proof, and good diggers. The red ones are good fighters and immune to fire. The pink ones can fly and are good at aerial combat, and I'm guessing... Uh, but they're the weakest. Yes. And rock Pikmin, I think they're average fighters. But they do the most damage if you throw them. Yeah. And they're immune to getting squished. Yeah. That's a solid amount of... Uh... Oh, it's a strawberry. Can we get it in the next minute? I think a strawberry is worth one day. I don't think it's worth half a day. I think the only thing that's worth half a day is a cherry. Mm. We have 84 Pikmin just lugging around. Where are they? Uh, they're all at the at the fence with uh, Alpha and yeah, these ones. Oh, okay, there they are. Let's kill a boss. <laughs> uh, here's a gimmick. I get it. Oh, you got enough time, don't you? I have enough time to tear down this wall, but not enough to solve the puzzle. And the puzzle, I'm guessing, is throwing enough Pikmin and a captain in one side, and then lugging the other to balance it out, all that jazz. It's, yeah, it's it's all about scales and numbers. Like, is this one scale, does this one scale have more or less oh. units on it than another? I know this is recorded, but you left a buried Pikmin down there. Yeah, I know. I left him there so he could bloom. Oh. I figured you'd want to pluck him before the day's out. Nope. Well, there's no real advantage to doing that right now. Hmm. They have house everywhere. <laughs> Quite the discovery. Uh, actually, Alamar, yeah, if he is a president, he can be on vacation all the time he wants. I mean, just ask Donald Trump. He's president of everything. Yeah. <laughs> look, look at how many vacations he takes. He's basically the least work hardworking president ever. He's the worst. But you don't need me to tell you that. Uh, I don't think this is the right LP to get into politics talks. Nah, not in the woods was, not this one. Hmm. Alright, so 10 seconds left. There are no Pikmin missing anywhere. That's that's easier. So there you go, that's... It's set that's up. The, that's the gimmick to this, this room. There you have it. And then Just you can more seconds. And you can lug people across to the uh, other side, eh? Uh-huh. Neat. That's that. Day's over. Bah. And we've survived bah. the day. Frickin' Louie, I bet, I swear, if he drinks any juice or any more than one day's worth, these guys should skin him alive. Be like, give us the that's, key. <laughs> Thank you. That's pretty, that's pretty <laughs> intense for Pikmin. <laughs> Just strand him without food for a day or two. That's still pretty intense for Pikmin. 
<laughs> Stranding him? Yeah. <laughs> Maroon him. Alright, now we're gonna get the blue. Although, how's he gonna survive without the safety of the ship? He wasn't, he wasn't like, at least deep sleep in that boss, I guess, was keeping him around for something, but... Uh, you know, probably the same way he survived the last time, yeah. He's probably gonna get found by a very large entity. And the entity is going to keep him around rather than immediately consume him. I like how they're actually saying, oh god, is there a danger that those things could... This could be good for blending. A mix of flavors? Oh. Oh, okay, I guess not. Well, I mean, she's only noting that now, but we've been doing it the entire game. Right. I, I was gonna say, I like the fact that they actually mentioned, hey, are we afraid that the onion is going to be, like, swallowing us up anytime soon? And they're like, there's no danger of that. Maybe not. <laughs> and she's like, you're right, you have no idea. Two and a half, I keep forgetting how powerful those are. Mmm, strawberries. Delicious. I'm pretty sure I've asked you this before, but... Of all the fruit flavors that exist, which one is your favorite? I think I mentioned that it was apples and grapes. I think I was the one who asked you, actually. And I said, yeah, grapes are high tier. Ugh. Curse that Hakotanian. She's keeping a PG for the... Uh, G rated for the crowd. <laughs> We need more fruit, like, now! We have two days to find Louie, at least as it is now. Right. Surely we'll find more fruit as we go. We hope so, anyway. Ten lost souls, and we only listed, what, six? Okay, uh, let's get some more peas out there. Um... We got Peter, Patrick, Paula, Paul... Pauline... Patricia. Patricia. Uh, Let me actually look up names right now. <laughs> uh, we have 20 seconds. Phyllis. F Philip and Phyllis. We need two more. Uh, uh, Peony. Pierre. Pierre. And Pierre. Pierre and Peony. Got him. We did Got it. it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see what other names that we'll have to think up in tomorrow's time.